Hello everyone, welcome back to our another video. So in the last video, we have covered the rack system. Basically, we have gone through uh, some theoretical concept and some detailed understanding what is rag actually and how we perform it using different uh, strategies. And now in this video, we will be understanding it in detail by creating a live example. So what are we actually building in this video? So basically, we'll be creating a document and we'll be providing that document to our model. And then when we will ask it a question like what is the capital of India, then we expect our model to search through the document that we provided instead of searching it on the web or Google. Okay, so we do not want it to search it on Google. That is already done by the existing models that we have that already do that kind of stuff. But when we are working on any corporate, any legal form, and we want to implement AI there, and we want the searches on our documents, our query, our database. Okay, so we want our model to answer through our data instead of searching in whole web. So that is what we are building today. So let's move ahead the Google Collab and let's start building it. Okay, so we are inside our Google Collab and uh, the model that we'll be using for embedding is the sentence from the sentence transformer that will be a mini LM model that we'll be using. And, and for LLM, we'll be using a model from the Google library. And for vector DB, we'll, we are using the FICE database. Okay, so let's move ahead to our first step. So first, we'll be installing the dependency. So we'll have to install the sentence transformer, FICE CPU uh, uh, for storing our chunks. Okay, and then we have to install transformer and torch. So for most of the dependency is already satisfied because I have it installed already. So it will satisfy it already. For you, it will install all those dependency if you're installing it for the first time. Okay, so the execution is complete as you can see here. So let's move ahead to the next step. So now we will be creating our document. Okay, so for now we are creating an array of document. Basically in this document, I've described something about India, then I'm describing something about Python, then AI, then Paris. And if you want, you can describe, you can add more. Like kind of thing. Okay, so these all, I have defined inside my documents. I'll create this document. So document is created. Now I'll perform the chunking of my document. So for that, this is what I'm following. So basically I've created a method chunk. Uh, basically this is doing the chunking. And what I'm doing is from my document, what, whatever I've created here. So I'm taking one by one all these objects okay and then i'm providing it to my method and what my method is doing it's taking the text by default the chunk size it's taking as 80 you can change it or manipulate it according to your need you can try experimenting with this thing and you will see how the output changes okay and the overlap i provided by default 20. okay so the chunk array is created and i'm starting from point zero so when they start Till the start is less than my uh, length of the text that I'm basically providing one by one. So it will do the um, chunking. It will uh, get the end of it and then it will split the text from there and it will in append it inside the chunks array. So, okay, so, and it will return the final chunks once it is done. So once it is returned, it will embed it inside the chunks dot. Uh, using this method. So I have it inside my chunks array. Okay, so I will also print it. Uh, so 
it will print all the chunks which I which I have inside this array. So let me execute it. So now you can see this the total chunks that it created for me is six. Okay, so the the chunks creation is done in the similar way I have discussed in the video. So India is a country, South Asia, Delhi is the capital of India, and now is some part of it again it took like dia python is a popular programming language used in ai and data science and then science again so some part of it is already again it, it is picking so that is how the chunking is done i have already explained this thing in my previous video uh, if you are just confused in this thing you can just watch that video and then you will get it so the chunking is done the total chunks created is 6 Okay, so now the chunking is done. So the next step is embedding. So embedding is very crucial step after the chunking, uh, which uh, we do perform it before storing it inside our vector database. Okay, so let's do the embedding. Okay, so very simple uh, logic. Uh, we are just importing um the sentence transformer from the sentence transformers and the uh, model that i have mentioned earlier we are using the mini lm so this is a free version uh model that i'm using inside the google collab okay so they are different model as i have told you earlier but some are paid some uh, needs high resource to run so uh, i'm just showing you all the models that we can directly run in the uh, our local local code base with some lighter configuration or we can use the google collab on any other tool that where we can run the python or ml programs okay so simple program basically we are creating the sentence transformer uh, the embedder is created here We're using this model once the embedder is created we are encoding the chunks basically doing the encoding and once the embeddings sorry we are doing the embeddings and once the embeddings done uh, i'm showing you in the console so let's do it okay so very quick so the embeddings are done so there were six chunks so it created uh six items for us uh while doing the embedding so same will be stored in the vector database now okay so now we'll be storing it inside our vector database the embeddings that we created so uh, let's create our vector database and store it okay so we are importing the fast and uh, we are importing the num5 okay so the embeddings that we have we are taking the dimension how uh, long it is and so basically we're just checking uh, how much space we need in the vector database to store this embedding okay so we have took the dimensions and we are uh, now taking out the index uh on the basis of dimension so once the index is there we'll add it to that index uh, we are adding it as an array uh, now once it is added inside the uh, in that index so now i'm showing you by printing it that it is stored okay so it is it stored six embeddings or six chunks basically uh, are stored inside the vector database so now everything is done from our end uh, by for the preparation of document okay and for the preparation of basically our data and the database is ready now we'll do the query and we'll see how it responds to our data that we have okay now uh, we'll ask okay the query for the model to ask so the query is where what is the capital of india that we are creating or let me do it this way sorry okay yeah i think this is fueling we'll remove everything from here this okay so let me remove it for now so first we'll execute the query so the query is executed we have created the basically it's not executed we have created the query what is the capital of india now 
we'll use that query and we'll use the embedder. Okay, so we'll ask embedder to encode our query once it does the query embedding. Now this is used to fetch the data through the vector database. Now this is the database. Now we'll do in the search. Okay, and using our query embedding, and we want uh, two results out of it. Okay, and uh, uh, if you can change it, you can make it three, four. So accordingly, it will return you three, four, five results. So once it is done, it will return it in the, inside the indices. And then indices on the basis of inside it, so you can retrieve chunk one by one and you can store it inside your variable, retrieve chunks. So once we have the chunks with us, we can print it. Okay, one by one. So let me execute it. Okay, so what context it returned us? It is returning us. India is a country in South Asia. Delhi is the capital of India. Okay, so, and the second one is Paris, the capital of France. This is the test data. Okay, so, okay, test data is returning. This one is returned by mistake. Ideally, should not return because we have not provided here comma. So it is considering it as single object. Okay. So for now you can ignore it, consider it. It, it uh, if we do not, we didn't add it, so it will will not be providing it because we just forgot to add the comma here. Okay. So uh, it provided us two response. India's you know, where we have defined about about the Delhi and India, and the second one is about the Paris and France because. In both these sentences, there uh, a similarity of capital capital. Okay, so what is this? It is their similarity such. So it will return us the data when we do the retrieval. It will retrieve on the basis of semantic search. So this is doing the semantic search here. But we do not want this response. We want the correct response. The correct response ideally would be that is the capital of India or simply the Delhi. Okay, because we ask it, what is the capital of India? Now comes the LLM in picture. We will have to feed the context to our LLM model. So what is the context? This is the context that we have that we retrieve. So we retrieve context from our database using the retrieval process, which is RAG. And then that context we provide to any LLM model that we have. Then it will we will get the exact answer. Okay, so now we'll do the feeding. Okay, so for that, we are using model from Google. This is the plan T5 small model that we are using. Okay, so created tokenizer, we created model. Okay, so we are providing it context. So context will be whatever we have uh, received using the retrieval process and we'll join it with the retrieve chunk. So this is empty and we are joining with the retrieve chunk. So our retrieve chunk is the context basically. And the prompt will provide us that answer the question using only the context below. So basically once we get the data from our databases, from our documents, now we are using the model to more refine our answer. So we provided the prompt to the model that the answer the question using only the context below. We do not want it to search uh, the Google or web. We want it to answer on the basis of context that we received, we retrieved from the database. Okay, so the context is our context that we have added here, the retrieved chunks. Okay, this is the retrieved chunks. Okay, and the question is query. Query is ideally what, what we ask, what is the capital of India? Okay, so once all this done, we are uh, doing, uh, providing the input, we are taking the output, and then we are asking model to generate on the basis of the inputs that it has, the prompt, and some parameters that we can manipulate according to our need, and we'll, be doing model dot generate and then we, it will get the output and then we are using the decoding and we'll print the output on the zero index and we'll get the answer and we'll print it so now let me execute it and you will see from this 
it change it to this see so now it is providing us the exact answer even if we change the query it will still provide us the correct answer uh if we change it to what is the capital of france okay so now i've changed the query query is changed and now let me ask it so answer is paris see so it is just using our context that we received so that is how the retrieval augmented generation work we do the chunking we do the embedding we store it in a side our database or any vector database that we want to use and then we retrieve it and we retrieve the context and that context we provide to any llm model that we want okay and we basically prompt it and we restrict it that only provide answers using our context that we have and it will not search for web after that so i hope now the whole flow of uh, uh, the rack generation is clear to you how the rack works and this is a live example that i have shown you so now i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching